Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. Um, it is the ninth video that we are doing, and it is the special guest appearance. We've been talking about We've it been for talking about it, yeah, weeks. For weeks now. It's finally here. It's finally here, and our special guest star is... Three, two, one. One. Hi! <laughs> Hi. It's Jeremy's mum! Yeah! It's my mom. You're like a rose between two thorns. Oh, there. no. Look at you. Um... So we've got an exciting episode ahead. Yes. We're going to teach mum. They're going to try to teach me. <laughs> how to do a Dutch pour. A Dutch pour. Right, which is the technique that she's chosen from all the techniques that we've got. And um, we're going to show you guys how we do it too. So we're going to go through the whole process yes. from start to finish. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Jeremy's already mixed the paint. Mom's already chosen the colours, which we'll talk you through as well. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited for you to see this. I know. Are you excited, Mom? Oh, I've, I've been waiting to get here. <laughs> you know, I love what they're doing. You, I mean, you really need to see it, to see how excellent it is, how beautiful it is. To believe it. And I want to be that good. I want to... The challenge is on, guys. The challenge okay. is on. <laughs> yes. I know you'll be that good because we're going to teach you how to do it. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get painting. Yeah, let's do this. I'm ready. Start your engines. <laughs> hey guys, here we are. Um, we're gonna be teaching my mom how to do a Dutch pour. Uh, and first things first, um, before we get to the, 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 the Dutch pour itself, we have to tape and pin our canvases. That way it doesn't touch the table when we do this, um, because the, the paint flows off of the off of the, the canvas, and you don't want it to soak up around the bottom of the canvas. That's why we do that. Um, so we're gonna flood our canvases. Mom's canvas is also the same thing. Hers is taped and pinned, and we make sure they're both level. We made sure they're both level, kind of. Let's see here. When they're not level, popsicle sticks or, or tongue depressors that we use are usually the best. Perfect. Yours is level. All right. So um, I'm going to flood my canvas first to show my mom uh, exactly how to do it. Then she's going to go ahead and copy me and she's going to flood her canvas. Uh, and then after that, I will do my, the colors that I'm going to use. I will do my lines. She will do her lines, I'll blow mine out, and then she'll go ahead and blow hers out. And you like all the handography that's going on here? Oops, geez. Um, there goes my tongue depressors and my level, my, my thing being level. Okay, so, um, trying to get it back into, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start flooding canvases. Barbara, if you want to do this at the same time, that's totally cool. You yes. Grab your wire and do this at the same time. Yes. So I un I unscrew the the lid of mine so that way I can just pour, and then I'm going to go towards the edges like this. And then I zigzag across the center. And how much are you right. trying to get on the canvas? <laughs> I'm kind of getting lots. <laughs> that, that's all right. You can get lots on there if you'd like. How much am I trying to get on the canvas? Yeah. I'm getting enough on the canvas so that way whenever I uh, use my trusty okay. spatula here, right. um, that uh, I'm just going to get a nice clean thin layer. Do you need to get more? If you'd like, yeah, sure. Go ahead, pour a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, and we're gonna use this to go ahead and we're gonna spread the paint across the canvas like this. So Bob, what you're trying to achieve is a thin layer of paint across the whole of the canvas. Yes. Including the sides. So that means so, if, go ahead. No, sorry, go on. So that way you're gonna get the sides like this. Barbara, 
the reason why we're putting the paint on the canvas like this is because when we blow with the hairdryer, you want the paints to be sliding on top of each other. Okay. Yes. So you're creating like a slick. Yes. Sorry, Mom. Am I getting the sides really good? Yeah, really good. That's it. And you can take this back. Yeah, that's perfect. You can take this back and put it around the sides. So now that we have the canvases all flooded, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our trusty torch here. And this one's been through a lot, as you can see. Um, we're gonna go ahead and torch to get all the bubbles out uh, because we don't want any bubbles in the paint as it dries because it, it'll just leave all these little pock marks and it's just not cute. So let's go ahead and torch our canvas. You don't, you don't burn the paint or anything? Not you if you this? keep moving the torch like this. Okay. And if you can look, if you see really closely, Mom, you'll see a lot of the bubbles popping. I do see. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, if you, if you, do, if you just move the torch back and forth pretty quickly like this, it'll get all those bubbles. All right. Do you need to do it? Yeah, just go ahead and squeeze it. Squeeze it. Get it going. There you go. Very good. And again, the reason why we're doing this is to pop all the bubbles, uh, to get all the bubbles out of, out of the paint. Am I doing it? Did yeah. It yeah. Done? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be using this torch again after we get our colors on there. Okay. So the colors we are using today that my mother has picked out uh, so graciously and is like, just um, they're actually a really amazing colors. It's gonna look really good is the Burnt Sienna by Arteza, or Arteza. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, the Pearl Cactus Green by Arteza, Arteza. I'm just gonna say Arteza. Say, just say both, and then we just do it one, least okay. one of them. <laughs> the Prussian Blue by Arteza. And the Deco Art Metallics Old Gold. Yes, Old Gold. What made you pick those colors? Yeah. Actually, I like the autumn and more to winter colors rather than the really light pastels. So this to me was more vibrant. It yeah. Just, just felt it through my spirit. I don't know. I there you it. go. Yeah. yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay. I'm feeling that connection. I want to see what's going to happen. <laughs> no. Me too. <laughs> All right. All right. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to do a... Uh, a, a, um, a Dutch pour that has a line that's going to go, I think, straight up the middle. So I'm just gonna put color straight up the middle. Now, I have to pick what colors are gonna go first um, because when you layer the paints, that actually has a huge impact on how it comes out completely. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Burnt Sienna first. That would have been my choice. And then I'm gonna go with the Prussian Bleu. Prussian Bleu. Then I'm gonna go with the Old Gold. And the gold can be very overpowering sometimes. So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of that. And then I'm going to do the Pearl Cactus Green. And I'm not going to stop there, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to do a little bit more blue, which <laughs> Lee is over here rolling his eyes. I can't wait to see this blue Dutch pole that you're doing. I'm not doing a blue. I'm going to just, just, you know what? I'm going to do one more of this, just a little bit. All right. Give me the colors. So mom is going to do her Bob, the colors in which way? Okay. Okay. You go diagonal from one corner to the next. Okay. And you can lay the colors up however you want. Go for it, Mom. So hold the bottle upright and just squeeze it out. It's not open. Oh, there it is. 
There you go. I see, I see it runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to go with this one. Now, next. that one wasn't open. This one is. Oh. So, if you squeeze it with that velocity, oh, okay. it will yes. be a brown paint. It's okay. <laughs> It'll be like ketchup. There you go. Oops. It's all right. <laughs> Remember, there are no mistakes in art. Oh, guys. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Wait, one more right here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go this one. I'm like, there's no wrong in art. No, don't do that. <laughs> there's no wrong in art. Oh, I love, some I, bloody horrible I, pictures. Oh, this one's not open. Yeah, that's not open. There you go. Hold on, let me do you something, it. Mom. Here you go. There, it's open now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Watch out, though. <gasps> We're gonna see what happens here. <laughs> I think it's gonna be amazing. Okay. And then you're gonna go, now gold tends to really take over a painting, so just to be. Just real yeah. thin, real okay. thin. There you go, it's okay, open. Okay, let's try. Perfect. That's it? That's up to you. You can do, you can do a you can do, layer if you want. You can do like whatever, pass. yeah. It's up to you. If you wanna put more blue, put more blue. If you wanna put more green, put more green. She is going for it. <laughs> All right. That wasn't me. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. All right, now it's time for the lovely new red blow dryer. Now we use the blow dryer to, uh, to actually move the paint across the canvas. Um, through the white the white base coat and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this away and then work my way up and we shall shall see how that happens. So what speed are you going to have it on? I do it on the lowest speed. And how do you angle the hair dryer? I, ain't, I do it a little bit differently than some people yeah, yeah. so I, I go like this okay. you know some people do it more up. Le, more up, up, up. Yeah, like almost, almost vertical. Yeah, some people do that. Yeah. I like to do like this. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. And see, I'm just literally letting the I'm just letting the air push the paint across the canvas and off. Now I'm also kind of going to the extreme with like l just pushing it off the canvas the way that I am. Um, and I'm gonna torch it. Mom, if you would take this, this is gonna be yours. We'll put this over your shoulder right here. Okay. That way it doesn't dip into the paint. Okay. Let me torch this real quick. Where's the low speed on here? Yeah, so this is your speed. What you're gonna try and do is hold the, 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 the hair dryer up as, as yeah, upright as you can. Oh, okay. And totally hold it with that hand. That's, that works for you. And then you're using it almost like an extension of a brush. Okay. You know, it's like push okay. the air okay. is pushing the paint. Okay. See, let me show you something, no. Mom. I like to I like to push it like this. Okay. 
There you go. Now you're starting to get some of the color through it. Whoa, get out of the way. <laughs> There you go. Move your, move your. There you go. All right. You, I love the colors. Oh the colors my lord! Really awesome. yes. Yeah, the colors are great. Okay, let me get my okay, thank you. Oh my lord! So, um, let's see. I took my popsicle sticks out, so I'm going to move this back over a little bit so that way everybody can see both pieces again and uh, we're going to come in for a close-up here. guys that does it for the end of this chapter of the Massey Art Studios um, mom's visit here mom how did you like it oh my gosh it was so great I I can't believe that I could do something so nice <laughs> you know would you do so it? the challenge is on <laughs> okay episode nine you see which one you like about mine of course you see the one you like the best Let's get the voting started now. <laughs> Would you do it again? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, absolutely. you feel confident it's, doing it again. I, I well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few more tries. A few more tries. Right. But of I course. think, yes, I think I could do it. Well, yeah. I think you could do it too because you just did too. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. She's going to be going right. home and doing Dutch pours left and right. Right. <laughs> just don't start a YouTube channel. Yes. No. Uh, we don't need the competition. <laughs> we don't need the competition. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do have is the uh, is the paintings that we did previously uh, in, episode, in eight. episode eight which was the metallics and why don't you go first well I had a small issue I loved my picture and then I ruined it quite by accident by sticking something in it but when I actually did my picture with the dustpan pour I used the leftover paints and I just poured this as well so this is not the picture that you saw me do on camera um, unfortunately, I accidentally um, put my hand in it and it slipped and I ruined it. But this is, this is what I used leftover paint for and just did a really quick canvas. It's like a 10 by 20. Beautiful, yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's beautiful. I love that actually yeah. a lot. And then the one that I did 
was this one. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Let's see, do we like it this way? Sorry, mom. Do we like it this way, this way, this way, which I think that's actually <laughs> this way. That looks like weird. I like, I like this. I think we're gonna go with this way here. Um, but as you can see, it has like, I like it that this way. metallic yeah. shine and glimmer and glamour and loveliness. You love metal and mm -hmm. yes. yeah. yeah. So, um, so this is them, and uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking that the the metallics that we did, and uh, I definitely want to recreate my dustpan board again because I loved the picture and I was really upset that I that I ruined it. But that such is life. Yes, yeah. accidents do happen. Right even on Massey Art Studios. <laughs> so uh, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and cut out of here and uh, head on down to Palm Springs right. for the weekend. Exactly, let's go get some sunshine. Yes, yeah. yes. And we'll be back for episode 10, which is Who Did It Better, officially. So yes. um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment in the comments down below. Thank you, Barbara, for joining us. Yes, thank, thank you. It's been so much, so much, much fun. Thank you, Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> it's been awesome. Thank you guys yes. for having me. Of course, of yes. course. It's been great. <laughs> Can you believe this This little tiny thing is my mom? <laughs> right. She gave birth to this big hunk yeah, of a thing. big boy. <laughs> um, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It's been Absolutely. really fun. Um, come back and see us again on the next episode, and we'll see you real soon. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye.